Welcome back to Scarlet Sprites, guys. Today is more fresh Neo Geo related content. In hand for you today is Bitmap Books' Metal Slug, the ultimate history book. This is a walloping 450 page hardcover book that features just about everything you could hope for from a title like that. I grabbed the fully loaded edition for myself. It's one of a thousand copies that sold out pretty quickly, but that's what we're going to be taking a look at up next. So let's go ahead and unbox this fully loaded edition first, and we'll start with the extras before getting into the actual book. The first thing I'll say here is that this is really well packed. This is pretty thick cardboard. Obviously one of the extras is a poster. You can see that separate tube here attached to the box. And kudos to them for not folding this up and tucking it inside the bookcase. They treated it as though I suspect any of us would, rolled and in a pretty sturdy tube. Unpacking this, you can see that this is a gorgeous A2 size poster. It's a blueprint of the now iconic SV001. I'll definitely pick up a frame for this as this is worthy of going on the game room wall if I can find some space. I also recall that this was a glow in the dark print, so I'll do my best to try and show that here as well. Next in line, more artwork, this time from SNK artist Tonko. This is a postcard of Marco and the gang. It's a pretty sweet watercolor job, which also might include some pencils. I'm not 100% certain on that, but regardless, this is a nice inclusion. Tonko kind of has a cult following and is known for various SNK designs, notably the Last Blade series and Mark of the Wolves. I'm really impressed with how well this is packed. Amazon could really take note for some of their items. I was mildly concerned since this is shipping from overseas, but the amount of protection this gets from the corner supports and foam wrap is fantastic. Now that I got this out, you can see the fully loaded edition slip case for the book. This thing is pretty thick, solid, and has some weight to it. That's what she said. <laughs> now you'll notice on the back, there is an on off switch here above a speaker. I'll go ahead and switch that to on. Flip this back around and all of the icons that are here on the front can be pressed for their in-game sound effect. I know, I know which one you all want to hear. You savages can't even wait, can you? My second favorite has to be this one. I just like how excited the announcer is. So that's it for the extras. Let's go ahead and open the book up and flip through it a little. Now obviously it's 450 plus pages. So I'm not gonna be able to show everything here, nor do I really want to, just out of respect for Bitmap Books who put forth a lot of effort on this. But also for those of you who are going to be picking this up and wanna discover some of these things for yourself. I think showing the table of contents here though is helpful. It gives you a nice rundown of what to expect. Of course, there's the actual narrative and backstory, which I suspect many of you already have a quick summary of. But this obviously goes into more detail and background. I was pleasantly surprised to see In the Hunt and Gun Force 2 called out. Again, probably not surprising for a lot of you who already know some of the history here. But for a book titled Metal Slug, I wasn't exactly sure where Bitmap would begin, or rather be allowed to begin. But those two titles made it into this book and are definitely worth reading about. You probably assume the entire Neo Geo series would be packed in here, and you'd be correct. But I think it's also worth mentioning that the Neo Geo pocket titles also get their full color due. As does Metal Slug Advance, Metal Slug 6 from the Atomus Wave, Metal Slug 3D, and Metal Slug 7. The back of the book is comprised of interviews with various SNK staff who had a hand in the development of the series. I've not finished this section, but the few pages I have gone through are quite good at giving insight into personalities and the overall vibe of the era. Included here is an interview with Tonka, the artist we discussed earlier in the video. I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but the book is a nice size as well. Each page is eight by 11 and three quarter inches. I believe the paper would be what you'd call a semi-gloss and is of standard thickness. A lot of what you'll find beyond the initial narrative pages are screenshots, artwork, sketches, 
and even some design drafts. These all come captioned with a few sentences that give you some insight into what you're looking at. And while a small portion of this may feel redundant for those of you who know the games and stage designs really well, there is still plenty of material that is fresh and contains information that I've never come across before. I really like seeing the concept art for a lot of the logos and characters, and there's a fair amount of hand-drawn sketches included throughout the book as well. The book includes a lot of sprite animation breakdowns as well, which is always neat to see from an enthusiast standpoint. This is admittedly some really nuanced stuff, but hey, let's be honest, that's why you're interested in this book in the first place. Overall, Metal Slug The Ultimate History does not disappoint. The included content, facts, and presentation far exceed what I think anyone could expect for a project like this. I don't know that you'll find the volume of information paired with high quality images for the Metal Slug series anywhere else. This is truly the ultimate in fan service for anyone who is a Metal Slug or SNK fan. The only negative that comes to mind is trivial, and that is that I noticed several occasions where Fio was referred to as Airy and vice versa. An example of this occurs on page 127 where Fio is mentioned as being on the left and Airy on the right. I thought maybe this was a last minute layout change, but it happens again on page 158 where it is mentioned that Airy is given center stage and clearly, that is our brunette heroine Fio out in front for the Metal Slug X art. This is a truly gorgeous and well-assembled book though. I'd highly recommend picking this up from Bitmap Books. The fully loaded edition is unfortunately sold out, but the book itself is still available currently for pre-order and will run you about 40 bucks plus $12 shipping and handling. So a little over 50 bucks shipped to the States here, but if you're a fan, I'd say it's more than worth it. I'll drop a link for the site down below, but if you have any questions, don't hesitate to add them to the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like if you would be so kind. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I will catch you all next time. Later, guys.